Hi, this is John Kehato. I'm an e-learning coach as well as an ICT professional. Today we are going to discuss about the One Laptop Per Child project in Kenya. The reason why I picked this topic is because there's been a lot of uh, discourse in the public domain. There's, a, there's been information and there's also been misinformation. So the purpose of this recording is to find out what is true about this One Laptop Per Child project. Now before we go into that, I'd like you to watch a video that I downloaded from the internet about this one laptop per child. One laptop per child. That's our name and our vision. We want to create educational opportunities for the world's poorest children by providing each and every one with a rugged, low-cost, low-power, connected laptop. And this is that laptop. Say hello to the XO, a computer unlike any other, designed specifically to work in tough conditions and remote areas. It comes packed with software and activities to help kids learn, explore, create, and share. No matter what language they speak or where they live, the XO connects them to each other, to the world, and to a brighter future. We're a non-profit organization, which makes these kids our mission, not our market. That's why wherever the XO goes, there are five core principles everyone agrees to. First, kids get to keep the laptops. They have to be free to take them home and use them whenever they want. That's kind of the point. Second, we're focused on early education, which means kids about 6 to 12 years old. Third, we have to deal in large numbers of laptops, so whole classrooms and schools get them at the same time, so no one gets left out. Fourth, kids should have a connection to the internet, because there's neat stuff to learn on the internet. Fifth, and finally, the XO must include free and open source software. Then the laptop itself can easily grow and adapt with the needs of the child. So, in a nutshell, that's us. An organization that makes a small computer to serve a big cause. Bringing education to children all over the world. With one laptop per child. I hope this video has served as a good introduction to the topic. There are several countries that have already undertaken the One Laptop Per Child project. I want to look at three of those countries. The first one is a country called Peru, which is in South America. In Peru, over 750,000 laptops have already been issued to school-going children. In Uruguay, over 475,000 laptops have also been issued. Next door, is a country called Rwanda, where over, over 200,000 laptops have already been issued. Now, I believe that if Peru, Uruguay, and Rwanda have been able to implement this one laptop per child project, Kenya can also learn from them and be able to implement the one laptop per child project here in Kenya. However, there are issues surrounding the one laptop per child project. Some of the issues include digital content. Now, what do we mean by digital content? Now, content is the information, it is the knowledge that has been previously stored in books. The purpose of these laptops is to transfer this knowledge and information from the books into the laptop so that the laptop has a need and it has it serves a, that the laptop serves a need which is to inform and provide knowledge to the child bearing that laptop. Otherwise, these children are going to treat these laptops as toys. The other issue is capacity building. Capacity building involves training of teachers who are going to undertake this project. Now, our teachers are, the question is, are our teachers sufficiently skilled or trained in the area of ICT, have there been a skill gap analysis to determine the training needs of our teachers? So it is an issue. Another one involves equipment. Now, there are other related equipment that is going to be used in our training or in our learning institutions. Have they been factored in? Equipment like servers? equipment like access points you know internet connectivity all these have to be factored into this project 
There's also an issue of bandwidth. Bandwidth is the capacity of the internet connections going into our schools. Now, if you have a school with 800 students who have a laptop each, is the capacity of the internet able to serve the needs of all these students all at once? Some of these questions have to be answered with regard to bandwidth. Do we have enough bandwidth? Before we issue these laptops to our students, have we already connected our schools? And do, we, do they have sufficient bandwidth to with, withstand downloads and uploads into the internet? Then there's the issue of software. Now, what software is going to run in these laptops? Are we going to use proprietary software or are we going to use open source software or a combination of both? Is there a cost factor involved? Is it going to make the project more uh, expensive? There is also the issue on technical support. Do we have enough technical support in all the counties inside Kenya to be able to support all these laptops, all these children bearing these laptops? In Wajir, for example, or Mandera or Moyale, do we have enough people there? Or are they going to be sending these laptops to Nairobi and then it takes a time before they are repaired and transferred back? Will they have a disadvantage as opposed to Nairobi where there is higher technical, uh, higher concentration of technical support? So these are some of the issues that we need to look at. The last issue has to do with the monitoring of outcomes. Now, when we issue these laptops with all the requisite material that requires to support this project, how are we going to measure our outcomes against what baseline? We need to know whether this project is bringing in results. We need to define what these results are going to be. So we need to monitor closely whether this project is beneficial for our children and for this country. So those are the issues. Finally, I want to end with saying this, that I believe it is no longer a matter of if this project is going to be implemented. It is a matter of when it is going to be implemented. The question is, are you prepared?